The end of an era that began in 1869, 355 days after St. Joseph Hospital closed its doors to make way for Lutheran downtown, the last portion of the old building finally falls. St. Joe Hospital was demolished around 6 o'clock tonight and it's leaving some people with mixed emotions. Wayne 15's Andy Devine was there when the walls toppled and joins us with reaction from people who have been waiting to see the building go down. Andy? Yeah guys, the wait is over. I spoke with many people who have been camped out for days and they shared their memories of the hospital. It was just like, it was so sudden. You couldn't even say anything. And I, I think everybody just was kind of thinking, wow, you know, how can something that big and strong and that just come down like that? And when it finally fell, it fell fast. <laughs> Happening in a few seconds just before six o'clock tonight. Caught us off guard. Um, the yellow machine, when we saw it start moving backwards, we thought he was moving out of the way, and it just went fast. I mean, like two seconds. <laughs> Tonight's final demolition of the former St. Joe Hospital has been months in the making, and many in the community have been camping out for the last week waiting to see it. Ann Hogum has a special connection with St. Joe. She started as a volunteer at the hospital as an eighth grader in 1966 and worked there until 1981. Not only did I work here, but all 10 of my brothers and sisters and I were born here. And Hogman says she has mixed feelings about the hospital being demolished. It's kind of bittersweet. I hate to see it go. There was life in that building. St. Joe has been a landmark in Fort Wayne. Many people has worked here and many people has come and gone from here. And everybody has some kind of memory? It's some kind of memory. I was born there in 96. Uh, my mom, middle of the night, I came out kicking and screaming. She was closest here, so she came down here. When it was all done, it left people with mixed emotions. What a shame because, you know, like us people, people loved St. Joe. Now, as of right now, there's no timeline on the process of the cleanup. Eventually, the space will be used for a parking lot. Andy Devine, Wayne 15 News. Andy, thank you.